It's the Pinky the Pig Show. Okay, it's me. It's Pinky the Pig. It's time for the Pinky the Pig podcast puppet performance where you listen, laugh, and learn with an oink and a moo. And I'm here with my most excellent friend, Mildred the Moo Cow. Hi, Pinky. How are you? I am fantastic. How are you? Fabulous. Yeah, me too. And I've been thinking a lot. Oh, I know. You've you've got a lot going on up there, Pinky. Yeah, I do. I've been thinking about this. Okay, here's the thing. All right. Okay. So, when something happens, it, it, okay, then something happens. Okay. So, it just is. Correct. So, it's all how you react to the situation that makes it what it is in your own mind, in your perception of what happened. Yes. Because whatever it is, it just is. It's your perception that makes it your reality. Yeah. So, it's like, okay, your eyes... They perceive it, and your ears, they perceive it, and then you make this opinion in your head because all the other stuff that's happened to you is just a reaction from all the images you have in your head, from all the experiences and stuff that you've been exposed to in your pre during your life and perhaps all your other lives. Okay. So, you have a perception of a happening. Yes. But here's the thing. It's just... It's not really anything. It just is until you make a perception of it. Okay. I mean, it's like, okay, like the thing, you know, if a tree falls in the forest. Yes. If there's nobody to hear, it doesn't make a sound. Well, no. I know, because there's got to be something to react to perceive the sound. Sure, the vibration is the sound waves are going to send out, but if there's nothing to perceive the sound, a human eardrum or a dog or buddy rabbit's eardrum to perceive the sound, there's no sound made. It just is. If there's nothing to perceive it, it just is. It doesn't, it just is. I get, I get what you're saying. Quite profound, Pinky. Yeah, profound. What does that mean? Well, it's just, it's just you're full of knowledge and wisdom and very, um, a lot of emotion also. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, and here's the thing. The universe becomes its fabulous self because it can experience you and me and all the animals and the plants. Now it has all this. It's like a camera. The universe looks through all of the life like a camera, like, and then it has the experience coming back, and then, then it can express its own magnificence, the universe. <laughs> That's very sweet, Pinky. Yeah, the, the light. Oh, so now you're talking about the light that comes through the whole of the camera. Yes. The light is shared from the life forms and the universe because the void in the universe is nothing without the forms. And the forms are nothing without the voids. Oh, boy. Yeah, and then, and then you are the universe because you become... The experience of the universe, because the universe put us here to experience itself, and then it's just a win-win. It's a circle, and it just is. But your actions affect the universe. Yes, the perception. And if you perceive your situation is bothering you, and you make a deal about it, and you get all troubled, and it matters then it turns into matter because energy is matter. Oh. 
But if you accept it for just that what it is, it is, then you're going to be more peaceful. I mean, of course, if it's something you can change, yes, change it. But if you have no control over it, then you just deal with your present moment in time and it just is and just accept it without getting all bothered because then it's going to matter and then it's going to turn into matter. But if you just leave it be itself, then it just is and and you're not going to get all messed up. Yeah. Well, Pinky, uh, pretty deep stuff today. Yeah, it's good deep stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yes. Okay, we'll talk soon. I love you. I love you.